G'day guys, welcome back to Total War Warhammer. This is part two of our vampire series and we are going to try and finish off the vampire today and we'll probably finish up with that quest battle if we can. So we're just playing this one on very hard again just because we want to sort of enjoy the game. What I'm going to do, I'm going to bring this army up and just transfer these dire wolves over because they're pretty good units. Like so. Then going to send this army to Templehof okay. to protect it. So we'll just force march you over. Now, I'm just going to grab whatever I can from the region. There's nothing in the region. Okay. Did you recruit? I don't know if they recruited them or if they rose the dead. But that's alright. We'll just keep raising the dead so they don't get them. It's only the vampires we have to worry about that with. Once we attack, start attacking the humans, we won't have to worry about taking the units off them. Okay, this army. We're going to take Wardenhof next turn with an order resolve, probably. We'll then let it replenish and make it as strong as possible for attacking the humans. We just want to see how we go against the humans. I'm concerned that my units are not going to be good enough. Skeleton warriors against swordsmen, I think you're going to get massacred. So, kind of concerned. Because, I mean, we're going to be fighting the humans for the next god knows how long. Um, okay, you need to recruit as well. One more unit of direwolves, one unit of bats to deal with the humans. Then we want, I mean, zombies and stuff are expendable, but we want some better units. Uh, skeleton spearmen are anti-large. Humans don't really have large units, so I guess skeleton warriors are a better idea. Once we get things like grave guard and stuff, I'll be a lot more confident. But I think Swordsmen are pretty good base units. Okay, that's all done. Now, as for this region, we're going to go with some growth. Into there. The next one we'll put in a garrison building. And the final slot, I think we'll just do pub public order and wealth. We don't want to really build anything but the simple buildings in the towns because they can't upgrade past a tier 3. And if we're going to build something like a... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, something along the lines of an armory. We can only build them in tier 3, 4 and 5 areas. So you can't build any of those in the towns. Also this building. Oh, okay. So we can build a witch's house only in the capital as well. But I don't think we really need that. It increases vampire corruption plus 6 and also plus 4 in adjacent provinces. That is actually very good plus four corruption in adjacent provinces if you could stack that if you had a region that crossed with two provinces you could get a lot of vampire corruption in very quickly but we also have heroes and stuff for that when we do this quest battle we'll get a hero anyway castle drakenhof has a really good garrison as well so it's got a tier two or three just a tier two we've got four grave guard four crypt ghouls Die wolves, bats, and vargeis. Only from a tier two. That's really good. We're gonna have some epic defensive battles. Wow. And I'm not sure. I don't think I can build an extra garrison in Castle Drakenhof, but maybe it gets a better base garrison. Yeah, it does. Because it's my actual capital. Capital. It gets a better base garrison. Because if I put a tier two. Uh, capital building in whatever it's called. I only get skeleton spearmen and zombies and fell bats. Yeah, so we get shit all in the other capitals, which is why we need to build the garrison buildings. Anyway, we'll get to all that. Let's, what are we doing? Recruiting. Doing an turn. Upgrades again for Manfred. We're going to go with public uh, leadership when attacking. Got to make sure this is only when we attack, so we need to be very aggressive. To the end turn. Had so much fun in the last campaign. Where are you going to go? Really, you're doing that. Uh, retreat? Let's hope the garrison... I was kind of worried then. The garrison here didn't have time to... Sort of... Um, heal itself after taking it over, so... Should we just smash them really quick? Grab that. Get out of force march. Over here. That. 
Auto resolve that. I don't care what happens to this army. We want it. And I'm going to go with the income to pay for those units that I just recruited. And I should be able to chase him as well. Yes, yes, yes. So this army, I don't care if it dies. Alright. Another auto resolve, and he's dead. It also gives this leader some experience because we're going to need a second leader. That was definitely going to be an easy win. It called the city garrison out. There we go. Again, more money. It's not much, but it's something. Alright. And he got some benefits out of that. Just jump into the city for now, and he can replenish all that stuff. How's this looking? Public order's fine. Public order here is fine. Alright, Waldenhof. Waldenhof has a tier 2. I thought you got some good units. It's actually got, it's got some Crypt Horrors in there. Be interesting to fight them. Let's have a look and see what the odds are. Yeah, they're pretty one-sided. Uh, do we fight this or do we just fight the humans? I think we're better off just to fight the humans. So they've got Crypt Ghouls, Zombies, Spearmen, Valbats, Direwolves, and Crypt Horrors, which are pretty good units. Again, they've got Regeneration, which is badass. Pretty sure the Bar Guys might be able to take them down, though. But there's, there's 12 of them and one of him. Maybe not. Anyway, just do an auto-resolve. There we go. We barely... Oh my god, the Bar Guys nearly died. This is why I don't do auto-resolves. Jesus. He's nearly dead. It's going to take a while to replenish. AI, what did you do? Um, Occupy. Alright, that's problem secured. The quest mission stays around for a long time, so I'm in no rush to do it. Now, because we have the pr province, we have a commandment. And we can go with unit experience, no. Tax rate, no. Growth and corruption, maybe. And public order. I'm going to go with growth. Public order will stabilize. So it's minus 10 from conquest. Which will go away next turn and then it'll be fine. Awesome. Also, destroy that building. That'll make us some more income. And then the only other one we have is over here. I keep moving my mouse over this side of the screen. But because we've got a second screen, the mouse just goes onto the second screen instead of moving the map. So I've got to use my keyboard. Um, Fort obviously is a tier 2, so we're going to need the good army for that. Right. Well... You have to stay there for a turn anyway, so I wanted to deal with these vampires and then I'll come back and deal with this battle. What I'll do, it is night. I need to do one in turn pretty much. Just looking at what I can recruit and what do I need. Again, we didn't get an epic battle. Grab some bar guys, but that's two turns to recruit them. I don't need any more bats. I might get rid of these zombies. And just grab some more skeletons. Actually, it might be a unit of spearmen as well. Maybe two units of spearmen. And then we'll try and replace the skeletons with crypt ghouls. The Var guys is going to need some time. But as we move over, he will replenish and then we'll hit Fort Upsteer. And we'll be good. Okay, we're not making a lot of money either, which is not good. So maybe I don't need all this. They're not exp it's not expensive, but I just don't think I need it. Right now. There we go, that's a bit more money. Alright, end the turn. Some more upgrades. Let's do the last one here. Awesome. And then we might focus on some magic next. But that extra leadership is pretty good. Yeah, so an extra 20 leadership when attacking in total now. Extra, and plus an extra 5 versus humans. That's good. We needed that. We might do that aura at some stage to improve that. But that's not a bad start. Alright, more money. Beautiful. News Next of your time, conquest. shut up. We need to get another six. So six more settlements and we make more money. Let's move down to Castle Templehof. They're going to build an army in the meantime, so we might have a really good battle here. Okay, again in Eschen, we're going to put in growth. I mean, that's in Waldenhof. Nothing I really need. 
can upgrade my garrisons a little bit or I can spend some money you know what upgrade the garrison then what we'll do down here I'm just gonna hire another lord so it doesn't matter really who we'll just get this guy back again oh it's someone different nah, it doesn't matter. he's not gonna be doing any fighting he's just gonna recruit me some Vargeist so it's two turns per unit I'm just gonna grab two stacks actually what I'll do just so I can recruit them this turn and together so just do both now and then we'll do the city next turn so you can stay there recruit we'll throw them back in the army for the attack against the humans uh, you'll need a turn so let's just put you into the city in force march you get some extra replenishment being inside the city do the end turn they'll probably raise some dead if there's any dead to be brought up and they probably recruit some unit I'm not sure. Yeah, they have. They've got a barrow now, so they can recruit some units. But there's nothing here. See if we can auto resolve this. Uh, really? No. Let's take Fort upstairs with an easy auto resolve. Oh, it's going to bring that army. They've only got three skeletons. Cool. So auto resolve. Hopefully they die and they're done with. The dead rise again. So, what was that dead rise again thing? Was that mean we had an epic battle or what? Ah, uh, we can subjugate. Yeah, no. Let's just occupy. Weapon gained. Killed in battle. Faction destroyed. I grow impatient. No. Well, the dead did rise again, but they're not very good dead. All right. I think we need those epic battles. So that's the whole point of this campaign was to have really good battles. So after them, we're going to get some great units. So what we're going to do, we're going to head back up to the north here. We're going to do this quest battle. And then next episode, we'll worry about these guys in the south. They might have a full stack by then and we'll have a good vampire battle. But you're stuck there for a turn. Just in the city, we'll destroy the military building. You've got two turns of to go. And I got some extra money out of that, so I'll upgrade the garrison now. Okay, another end turn. More skill points. And what do we want to go with now? When can we get you a horse? Tier 9. You're tier 7. That was really quick. Alright, so Book of the Dead. Spirit Leech we've already got. I don't really want to boost the cooldown time on it, but I think I have to actually. Yeah, I do. Alright, then we've got Leech Life. Which is a passive ability. I think he already has that. I've been using that. Okay. That just gives us extra magic reserve and improves the recharge rate. Aspect of the Dark Knight. Some leadership and can cause terror. Soul Blind. Okay, that's a good penalty for the enemy. And Doom Darkness, which is extra leadership. Well, none of that's any good. What about up here? Curse of the Undeath. Regenerates HP and shit. That's an ability, it's not a spell. This is a spell, but it's for extra speed and leadership. Don't care about that. Gaze of Nagasha. What is this one? Magic Missiles. Okay, that's worth getting. So we went with the wrong spell book. And raise the dead. Raise the dead isn't a bad one. You get a couple of units of zombies. Oh well. We boosted... Wait, we don't need to do that. We can cancel that. That spell is more than strong enough already. So we will boost it and improve the recharge time, but not now. That spell is the best spell I've got. Alright. Well, by the time we move over and do this quest battle and merge our units and stuff, we'll be in a pretty good... That bar golf would have replenished. How are we going for time? Hey, this time we might actually keep it to a 15 minute episode. Depends how long that battle goes for. But we're not at war with anybody, so we can just do our own thing. Let's move across to Estrin. Bring this army over. Okay. Can you transfer units? No. You can if you go into Force March. Alright, the two Vargeists, and we're going to take out probably the bats. The bats are pretty useless, and then I'll just disband this whole army. Got some extra money. Good. And you probably... 
Okay, you're gonna replenish 1,346 hit points. If I put you in a force march inside the city, yeah, still better off. Good, next turn we can attack the humans. And as for upgrades, we're gonna put some growth in over here. Upgrade this to a tier two city. That's all my money. Do it in turn. Foolish Bangalore. So we can get extra leadership for all forces for th three turns or recruitment costs. Uh, I'm not really recruiting, so we'll go with the extra leadership for three turns. It'll help us in this battle. What? So we should be, like, our leadership should be spot on for this battle. Should I just wait one more turn? Yeah, sure. Might as well let that bar guys be fully replenished. Bar golf, whatever it's called. Why couldn't they just name them different things? I know that probably wasn't the best idea given the enemy extra turns, but I'm not really scared of the enemy. Alright. And as for recruitment, well, we can start building a garrison. It's... You get some extra units, yeah, that... It'd be a pretty good little garrison. Once it's done. Or do we go with the extra income for now? Extra income... Don't really want the tradable resources, and I don't need the public order. Uh, we'll do the extra income. I've got my armies around here at the moment, and no one's going to attack us. So, we should be fine. Come impress right. me. So, out of force march, into Plus standard, and with plan. perfect army. So, we're good to attack. Is there anything over here we need to build? No. How's my research going? Alright, we're doing the last one now, so 10 turns. Good, so that means we got an extra bit of growth coming in. Making 120, that's not too bad. Alright, let's go and attack the humans. I would have thought the odds would be a lot better than that. To be fair. Alright, let's fight it. Alright, so being a quest battle, you get a bit of a different sort of battle set. The only thing that's probably going to cause any damage would be the Reichsguard cab and maybe the Helbert ears against my Vargas, Vargolf, both things. I suppose they both count as monsters. What is this? Skip this. That is a cool looking tower, I'll give you that. Why is my camera so messed up? How do I fix my camera? God. Yeah. Alright, so these are the Vargas. Pretty cool looking things. And what else did we get? We got Die Wars. Pretty cool. And that's about it. Skeleton spearmen and stuff we've all seen. So, what's their deployment? Cavs on the right hand side. I have enough Die Wolves, I hope, to beat those Cav. I mean, those Reichsguard Cav are bloody good things. So, three units of Die Wolves should be enough. Worst case, I can send the Vargas in as well. I just want to keep away from these Hellwood Ears if I can. And we're fighting in Marshland, which gives us a penalty. So it's shallow water. Yeah, it just says it's difficult for small units to traverse and fight in. There is a penalty for it. I'm not sure how much though. And how much magic we got? 17. My cure is dead. Okay. Again, we might just try and snipe the leader. These are humans, so they will rout. We've got some hand gunners which we'll try and drop in with the Vargeists and as long as we keep the Varg golf and stuff away from the Hellwood Ears, we'll be good. So a nice wide line of skeletons to hold everything while we flank. I've also got skeleton spearmen, maybe yeah, skeleton spearmen on the flanks. Like so. Just in case they flank me with shit. These guys here. You're fine, you're fine, and... Alright. Yeah, I really want to, I don't want to lose these units because they're getting veterancy as well. So, let's move up. We should have this one in the bag. It shouldn't be an issue. I just want to sort of see... So, I'm just going to throw in a unit of skeletons against sort of each unit. I know I'll probably lose the skeletons. It doesn't bother me. Get my diabolos over here. Oh, I actually get quite a... Die Wolf units are quite big. Manfred. Crypt Ghouls. 
Is that everything? Yes. Alright. Well, they can actually shoot me down, so we need to be careful. Because, obviously, these things have no armor and could get destroyed by archers. So what we're going to do, we're going to throw the skeletons in to start with. Just a nice wide line. Hopefully it sort of works out unit versus unit. They're going to shoot us and with archers and stuff. Move up with the skeletons. There's a giant hill there that I either have to go around or behind. And they're not going to charge straight into me with Reichsguard Cav, are they? I thought the AI was better than this now. It's going to slaughter me, don't get me wrong. But then it just leaves them open to flanks. It's going to surround them with spearmen. Alright, units, let's try and go one-on-one. -on -one. See how we go. There's also some units in the trees here. Hope it is. Bring everyone else forward. Crypt ghouls, my lord, my bargold. Alright. So, two skeleton units of spears have helped. We got behind them, and we'll just use the dire wolves to kill their archers. Take them out of the battle. And we'll just see what happens with our melee fighters. I'll throw the monsters in in a minute. What are you? Yeah. How are we going with these Reichsguard Cav? Uh, looks like they're going to break and get away. Yep, that's right. We'll just chase them. So, Skeleton Warriors against Swordsmen. What's morale? My morale is actually better than theirs. Amazingly, because I've got all those buffs. Which is really good. i got all their halberdiers and shit. Good. Yeah, those morale boosts made all the difference. I mean, we've got 80 leadership on a unit of skeletons. So, we've got an extra 20 from the bonuses I put in, plus an extra 5. That's going to really help us. Oh, now it's down to 86. That's fine. We are kind of getting our ass kicked, though. Look at this. One-on-one -on -one with Hellbit Ears, we lose, which is kind of to be expected. Against Swordsmen, well, they're kind of getting flanked as well. We're losing. Let's just get these archers. Alright. Well, I think I've seen enough of my losing. I don't want to throw monsters in against beasts, so... Drop these Vargas in here. When they drop in, they cause terror. And they've... Is they got a charge bonus? A little bit of a charge bonus. Yeah, but I mean, they're going to break straight away. It's going to get these guys. I'm going to bring my Diables down and just charge in the rear. So, Swordsmen are underpowered. I mean, Skeletons are underpowered, which is fine. They're cheap, they're expendable. I can buy two or three units, with, probably two units of Skeletons for one unit of Swords. It's going to snipe their leader as well. Yeah, and, I mean, Skeleton Spears against Hellbit Ears, they're doing a bit better. They're a bit more surrounded here, though, because there's two units. Diabolus did really well. Bar guys, we're going to drop in on these Helbideers. We should be able to break them. Yeah. We Use magic guys. again to snipe their leader. Took him down at half. True power. And then I'm going to use the resurrection on some of my units to heal them. There's no point in them being wounded for no reason. Saves me a bit of time. Bar guys, they're gonna jump in again. Battle's over. It's gonna kill them. So we smashed them that time. I think we made some really good choices with that whole leadership thing. So, loot gained. I doubt that's going to classify as an epic battle to get any really good undead. You never know. Okay. And magic. Uh, dark magic, which is income. For, uh, extra leadership. No, screw it. Or replenishment. I'm going to go with the money. Got enough leadership from the bank, probably. Now, the army retreated, but because it was a quest... I think they die. Oh, excuse me. And we get a necromancer. 
Alright, weapon gain, blah blah blah. All those weapons should be equipped automatically. Where is that necromancer? Oh, he's down here. What can you do for me? Corruption, damage buildings, magic interference, assassinate, assault plan. Okay, an embed hero. I wonder what you're like in melee. You're horrible. So, uh, no armor. He's got enough leadership to survive. Weapon strength. Nah. So they're not a really good fighting unit. You wouldn't put them in your army to fight. Magic wise, the spells I've already got, so there's no point. I think you just use them as an assassin. Should five damage cause? No, no. They're not even good assassins. They don't get the extra shit here. Public order? No, no. I think maybe just use them to spread corruption. I think that's their job. They can assault units and stuff, that's all fine. Extra income from buildings, that's not a bad one. If you get that up, an extra 15% in a region, that's not a bad thing. Income from enemy buildings, you can hurt their economy. So, yeah, he's just a saboteur. Alright. Epic battle, no. Damn it. Oh well. We need to go back to Castle Drakenhof. And we'll get ready to attack these guys. They've got a bit of an army. Should be a good fight. What level city is it? A tier 2. So it's not bad. Okay. Really need to start upgrading all of these. Let's go for a tier 2 city here. Need the growth, which... We're making not enough growth over here. Why are we only making 70 growth? That's horrible. I guess we're making 120 here. It's going to take us a while to get any better units than what we've got. I really should have built that gold mine, but... Sorry. What I could do, I could move this building over. Where I get the Vargeist over here into that slot. And then I can build the gold mine, but it's a lot of money, which is wasted. Do an end turn. How are we on for time? Alright, cool. We're going to finish up at about half an hour. So we'll get ready for this next attack. The enemy within, we can get hero agent chance minus 20 or hero agent chance plus 20. Ah, it's only for two turns and no one's really doing anything. So it doesn't really matter what I picked there. I don't even know what I picked. My army's replenishing. Might as well send the necromancer over here to see what's happening. Find me, I refuse. Might be able to spy on the army and see what they actually have. Who shall we Maybe next Nothing um, else we want to recruit? No, just... Get these Graveguard will be our next objective as well. Which I need the Armory, which I need a Tier 3 City, and blah blah blah. We're doing our best for growth. These are Orcs, I believe. Yep. So, I don't know if we're enemies or friendly, but they're not at war with me, so I'm not concerned. Let's just have a look at that. Who are we at war with, or who are we going to be at war with? I know we're only at war with one unit of vampires to start with. Alright, so the greenskins don't like us. If we go to war with the dwarves, they will. The empire, we're actually pretty good with the empire. They don't hate us. Okay, the dwarves don't hate us, really. Huh. And the vampires don't hate us, but we're going to kill them. Oh, well. well, once we kill the vampires, we'll decide. Well, you guys can decide. Humans or Dwarves? Thing is, if we attack the Dwarves, we're not going to get any more provinces. Which means we're not really going to get any better units. So maybe we're better just to attack the Humans. We'll get some more provinces built up. And then we can attack the Dwarves with some better units. That sounds like a good plan. Good choice, people. Okay, let's replenish. Yeah. Uh, once we get that entire region, we'll get the commandment as well. Defeat a force belonging to them. To belonging to the dwarves. No. Gives me better diplomatic rea relations with people I'm going to kill. Yeah. It's not happening. Do I have a non-aggression with you? Let's hope not. And as for recruitment, well, what we can do is just... Oh, wrong button. 
Shit, wrong button. I hit windows. I went to hit body something. Okay, I'm gonna disband that and just grab a new one. There we go. Next turn we can attack. As for my income, what are we gonna spend it on? I don't know. We have a building slot over here, which I really wanna put the garrison building in. So we'll do that when we can afford it. Should we upgrade this as well for a bit more extra growth? Yeah. Then the next upgrade should be the tier three capital, which we'll have enough growth for next turn. Good, so if we make lots of money out of this battle, we'll be set to go. I love how quick the end turns are as well. Hopefully that windows, pushing that windows button doesn't upset everything. Uh, Lord has been resurrect, returned from absence, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. We got this battle, declare war. Yep, yep. Wow, they got a full stack. They pulled that out of their ass. Oh God. How did you... Oh, okay. So they don't have a standard recruitment building, which means they've recruited direwolves and vargeists. That's going to be a fun battle. Huh. Oh well, my morale's going to be better than your morale. You've only got a tier 3 leader, we should be able to snipe him. Uh, I've got some skeleton spearmen to deal with the Varg... Geists and yeah should be fun but we're going to leave it to next time guys so that'll be a fun battle to start with probably be the last vampire versus vampire battle we do and we'll move on to the humans so as always guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in part three in a couple of days